Hey guys, if you have ever developed a Python program, you have probably seen something like this. This comparison here compares a name variable to the string underscore main. And if this condition evaluates to true, it calls a main method. And if you've seen this, you've probably asked yourself, how does this work? And why is this useful? So let's take a look at this. First of all, we can realize that this name variable is indeed a vari variable. For example, we can print it and look at its value. The value is main currently, but where is this variable initialized? It is actually initialized by the Python interpreter and the Python interpreter um, initializes a set of special variables before running our code. For example, there is also this variable here, underscore file underscore. And if we run our module now, we will see that the value of this file variable is the location of our module. So let me delete this again and make our print statement a little bit more pretty. So now we just have this additional string that tells us that the name of module A is the name of module A. So if we now run module A, we see name of module A is main. So in this case, everything works well. The value of our name variable is main and our main method gets called. But let me show you another case uh, where the name variable takes a different value. So therefore we need another module. I call this module here, module B. And if we now import module A, we will see that all the code of module A gets executed. So let's run module B. First of all, the print statement of module A gets executed. And we see that the name of module A, in this case, is module A. Because the name is now module A and the name is not main, our main method will not get called. And this is an important difference here. If we import a module, the name variable will be set to the module's name. To make this even more clear, let's copy this print statement here, change this A to a B, and run module B again. We see two things. First of all, because we import module A, the code in module A gets executed. And you will see that the name of module A is module A. And afterwards, the code of module B gets executed. And we again see that the name of module B is now main. So every time you import a module, the name variable gets set to the module's name. And every time you execute a module directly and give it to the Python interpreter, the Python interpreter sets the name of this module to main. So why is this useful? This is always useful when you want to import a module, use some functions of this module, but you don't want the main code of this module to be executed. For example, if we had another function here, dev test, and this just prints test, we can still call module a.test. And you can see that test is written into our console, but um, the main method of our module is not executed. And this is especially useful in unit testing when you want to test some methods, but um, you have some code that should not be run by the tests. I hope this helped you. If you have further questions or more recommendations for interesting video ideas, please let me know in the comments and I see you in the next video.